How's it going everyone and welcome back to episode 7 of Twine in No Time. So we're jumping into this next mission which is Screwed and Crude. I don't know what the mission is called but it's something to do with just taking out two encampment missions in a level 23 zone. Luckily for me there's an encampment mission in a 23 zone so I can go slap around a couple husks with my razor build. I want to give my assault rifle a little run. I quite enjoy messing around with my trigger finger. I think it's got a lot better as I've got older. And obviously this is on the controller, not a mouse. So I think that's pretty good. I mean, I wish I had this trigger finger back in the day of Modern Warfare 2 when the FN foul or whatever the hell it was was just the most OP gun with the red dot. Look at that. Oh, but it basically might as well be automatic. I've got to hand it to my team though. They have actually been backing me this whole time. Or maybe I've been backing them. We're going to see at the end who's got the most damage. But it's not a competition if it's a team edition. Oh, that's right. I don't even know what I said, but it sounds like it makes sense. I wonder what. <laughs> Who even needs a team? I'm basically a one-man army. What did they even... I'm only joking. I'm only joking. They actually did help. It, I might have seemed like I got a lot of damage. It's just because of the AoE ability. It's so goddamn insane. And uh, not to mention my insanely fast trigger finger. Don't know if you mentioned it or saw it. Did I mention it? Well, I, I know you saw it, so I might as well mention it again. Whoa! Damn, boy! He fit! So I'm in the second mission of Chopped and Screwed or Chopped and Chewed, whatever the goddamn thing's called. But this time my team has decided not to help for any of the encampments. So I've managed to get myself up to the fifth one here. I'm just going to complete this. It's absolute minimum you need is five. So I'm going to complete all these and then I'm going to go and farm because my team doesn't want to help. So I'm not going to go give them the bonus loot. As you can see, they're all just chilling over the other side of the map being absolute useless as you know the majority of teammates in this game are but you know i'm not going to complain useless because all it does is improve my skill at killing husks and pressing rt and that is chopped and spewed complete next up we've got to go grab some radio towers for some geezer i don't know why he needs them but we're gonna go collect them anyway so that is one radio set complete or collected or you know and this will be number dos in our radio collected Unya, and we've located the third. That's right, a man of a thousand accents. And now we just have to defend for seven and a half minutes. By far the greatest and most fun part of this game is doing the defense stage of every mission. Mm, backflip, backflip, and another backflip. Basically just backflipped myself to victory there, and my team was actually very useful, other than Jess, who is looking away in disgrace because she knows she's done wrong. Come on, Luke, keep with the haste, otherwise I will lose my pace. Uh-huh, that's right, I passed English and I know how to rhyme. I think those rhymed, I don't know, I actually don't know. Hee <laughs> hee, stupid Aiden. Alright, where's this radio box? It's got them encampment like protecting this one ri- oh, okay, it's down here, perfect. That, that is four out of five, so we just need one more. Before we continue this mission team, I would like it if you let me go and collect the last piece to my puzzle. It is a radio needed to save many survivors in this world of chaotic, husk, overrun, ridden, Absolute death at where is it? I can't it must be downstairs. Oh my goodness. Why is there no floor? How did someone put something downstairs with no and how did we locate it? I don't know, but that is five out of five. Oh there is a there okay, that makes sense. But anyway, let's go back and defend the van. I can hear the cries of the husks just asking me to end their life now. I mean there's seven seconds left, so they just die anyway, they just evaporate when we complete the mission, so they just they're basically asking for death. And, oh, excellent. I didn't even see the mini boss, but our team took care of it. So that is some extra loot and a nice victory. Listen, I did say thank you, thank you after they did try and help. You know, I'm not that evil that I was just like, for God's sake, man. I was like that. I was like, for God's sake, man, get over here and defend. But then they did. So I was like, oh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I got away with doing nothing again. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, give me them rewards. Oh, God damn. Look at all them rewards. That is a ton of rewards. A ton of survivor. Give me some gold. Give me that radio mission complete. I don't know why I want a copper vigilante. I'll take the V-Bucks, though. Weekly. Didn't even know I'd done it, but that's some gold and tickets. Mission alert. Was there a mission alert? 20 pure drops of rain. That's actually pretty naughty. And a rocket sledge. Don't mind. It is time. Time for me to get a new weapon that I actually really like. So I decided to research the purple version of my machete, which is the Night Cleave. 
So I'm going to favorite this and dismantle my previous one and use the resources on my new one. Why? Because it's just an upgrade. Why would you even ask why? So we're going to level this up and then put a bunch of perks into it, as many as we can. I actually don't know how much perk up I have. But we are going to have a fresh new weapon once I am done with this. So I'm struggling here. I'm not sure what I want to make my next perk purple. Either the crit damage or crit rating. Because I'm up my crit rating. I think it might be worth doing crit rating to purple. Because at 35% at 140% extra damage. That's pretty, pretty naughty. So this weapon is looking good and I can't wait to use it. Now what better mission to use it in other than an SSD I don't know. But we will have to build up and I'm pretty sure they come from this side. So this is quite an easy defense. I'm pretty certain I just need to whack up a couple of gas traps here. And we should be pretty fine. Maybe a couple of wall launchers. I've got tons of resources because I'm always farming like a real farmer. Because farmers have resources check your boy out i've even got a goddamn ceiling trap up here to drop drop tires on the husks heads oh i don't think they're actually gonna do any damage we've got a perfect build here i doubt any husk will get anywhere near the objective and just for the sake of it just because i've got so much stuff i'm gonna put another dynamo on this wall here just to inflict a tiny bit more damage so we've been searching for help and we have found help we have our ninja squad the sexy ninja babes have come to town Oh, Sarah, why are you crying? It, you look so ugly when you cry. All right, it's time to give our night cleave a run for its money. I, I, I'm already enjoying the movement speed. What kind of hits can we get? Oh, my God, we're hitting 1.5Ks. Easy, easy. Get off me, boy. Oh, there we go. I wasn't looking for 600s. I'm looking for the thousands. There they are. Oh, my goodness. We are wiping up the floor with these husks. And I love the movement speed. I know you shouldn't have movement on this weapon. But I like just because I wield it so much, the movement speed, just getting around whilst I'm slapping husks is perfect. And there, oh my, it just works out so perfectly. I love it. I love it. How many times can I use perfect in a sentence? I don't know. Teammate, no! Oh my god, this, this, get your goddamn fridge out of my face. That first event went pretty easily, but now we are back at Aiden's maze of justice. The insatiable maze that the husks cannot get past because it's so crazy and it boggles their tiny brains. Or do they have big brains? Maybe the husky husks have big... Do you know what husk does have a big brain? The soul taker. Have you seen the size of his noggin? It's huge. I wouldn't be surprised if he had a million IQ. Catch me bobbing and weaving all these husks. Oh, oh you can't catch me off guard. I fall, but I survive. You know, it's just a duke. They're like, oh, he's failed. But I'm like, no, actually, I'm back. What? How did you go down, Ninja Top? You're not even on top. You're actually at the bottom. And oh my goodness, they're all going down. They're all going down. Stop. Stop, get, go away, come here, there we go, there, I've got you, I've got you. Ah, guess who done it again, I forgot to defend from this side, oh, but there's, they spawn, it's the, it's the spawn from earlier, but they come to a different amplifier. Um, as, well, you know, I think I can just defend up here, I'm just going to, I could probably just narrow it off and like tunnel them, like, you know, funnel them, not tunnel them, well, same thing really, tunnel funnel. Funnel the tunnel and kill these husks, so four minutes of this, I think it will be alright. I mean, they're not they're not actually that powerful of husks, so uh, yeah, this should be alright. And I'm just going to whack up a quick trap tunnel, and that will probably just make this a million times easier. Guess who's down? Down again. My teammates, always down. You know what, I don't even think they deserve a revive. Oh no, some of the husks are overrunning us. They're actually managing to make it down towards the amplifier, and I've just whacked up like metal walls to defend it, which is completely fine. But, uh, oh, here they are. Look at them. Oh, that was a great backflip. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, down again. Listen, bro, we don't have time for your shenanigans. The husks are actually about to defeat us. We're about to be overrun if we don't sort this out. Why are you running around here? Because it's tier one. Do they go towards lighter tiers just because it's less health? Is that it? Is that what this game does to me? Oh my goodness, that was... Did that, why did that backflip not do anything? I'm gonna have to start charging for revives in a minute. Jesus Christ. I mean, we've managed to narrow them down. There's only 30 seconds left, but I am so goddamn happy that I actually decided to level up this night cleave because it has actually come in clutch so much during this game. I, I've probably slapped around, I don't know, not over-exaggerating, about 16 million husks, something around that number because that's just how many have been spawning. But there we go, I mean, there's 16 seconds left, there's literally no husks in sight, so I think we're alright. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness! What 
How do you even get that little damage? It's not like my traps were actually getting the damage because we were all in front, front line just meleeing, but hell, thank you for the help, I guess, and thank you for teaching me my... making sure my revive skills are on point. I will definitely remember that I can go and be a medic at any point I choose to be. But there we have it, ladies and gents. That is going to bring us to the end of episode 7 of Twine in No Time. I hope you're enjoying the series, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you are, be sure to let me know by hitting a big fat like on this video, and also subscribing so you don't miss out on any of the future tin episodes. Now remember, I'd love to see your comments down below. I replied to as many as possible, and I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on the series. On that note, take care, and I will see you in the next one.